Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you four selections for tomorrow's horse racing action. Now before we uh, get stuck into them I quickly just want to go through a couple of things with you. Now first of all I want to apologise for not doing a video on today's racing. Unfortunately I just didn't have time last night and I did say on my Twitter feed that I wouldn't be doing a video for today's racing so apologies for that and if you ever want to follow my updates make sure you go to my Twitter feed which is at LuckyLoader15 and you'll uh, stay ahead of all the updates and all the gossip what's going on in my life and why there might not be activity here on my YouTube channel for example so that's the place to follow me on social media also as well quickly just want to reflect on how our tips performed over the weekend in the end, it was kind of a tale of two halves. Saturday was really good for us. Sunday wasn't so good. On Saturday, we had Hurricane Ivor. A few other good each way returns. So Saturday was a good day. Sunday wasn't so good. None of our horses ever really looked like winning. Glass Lippers was probably the one that came nearest to winning. But I think uh, she just set it up in the end for a romantic proposal, who was the winner of the flying five stakes there at the car so yeah it's kind of a tale of two halves but we did come out on top overall for the weekend and hopefully that's something to build on going into this week where like i said i've got four tips for you tomorrow and we're going to be going to the first one of them at Fontwell tomorrow in 135 where we're going with my long shot i'm going here with strike the flint for charlie hammond and susie smith now this horse at the current time recording is 14 to 1 and i'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here now arguably this horse put up a career best effort last time out his career best you probably have to say is actually when he won a bumper at Plumpton but since then he's never really shown uh, too much for Susie Smith but last time he definitely bounced back to some kind of form when he finished in third place in a conditional uh, jockey's handicap hurdle uh, at this track he um, was just outpaced in the closing stages and was just passed by Josie Abing who was a well backed favourite that day and Snug as a bug and that form has been boosted because Snug as a bug went on to win on his next start at uh, Newton Abbott and they're going to be reversing again tomorrow and our selection is going to be slightly better off at the weights also as well they're going to keep those blinkers on which really seemed to to make the difference last time it was the first time blinkers they applied last time out and he got an easy lead from the front and he was unpestered and he could get the race run to suit again tomorrow there's not too many horses that like to get forward and he might just be able to dominate this field. Also as well, what's the positive? They're dropping back in trip a couple of furlongs, which I think will really suit him as well. I don't think he quite saw out the trip. The only concern though could be the possible uh, ground. At the moment, it's ideal for him, but there are going to be a few showers moving through tonight. It is meant to stop by mid-morning, and if they haven't got too much rain, I think it should be okay for him. So I'm going to take a chance there on him uh, outrunning his odds. And I think, yeah, he's got a good each way chance in this race tomorrow. And that's why I'm putting him up as my long shot of the day in the 135 at Fontwell. We then don't have to wait too long for my extra tip of the day, which runs in the 140 at Red Car. It's so impressive for Clifford Lee and Kyle Burke. At the current time recording, you can get this horse at 11 to 2 with Skybet, who offer him four places on the race. And as my extra tip of the day, I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here. And this impressive tomorrow is going to be making her handicap debut, or a nursery debut, I should say, off a mark of 72. And I think that's quite a fair mark. And if you go back and watch her last run, at Thursk, that was a really eye-catching ride. She broke alertly and it looked like she was going to go handy. And then she was just straying back and at the back and just getting a toe into the race. And she was quite tenderly handled, I must say. It looked like they were just riding for a mark. I think they want to obviously go through nurseries with her and they were trying to get her uh, off, a, off a good mark. And I think they're probably quite happy with 72 because on some of her earlier form, she had been um, bumping into a couple of smart fillies that went on to run in higher company. So I don't think uh, 72 is a bad mark. She's by Ulysses as well, who got better with age. And I expect we're going to see that in his progeny. You'll think that they'll probably improve with age. So there's a lot about I like about this horse tomorrow, I think, of running a big race. Condition shouldn't be a problem. Dropping back to seven furlongs should be fine as well. Obviously, there are a couple of horses in here that uh, do have some good form lines. But I just, I'm not sure about them. I think they were maybe a bit flat that day. I'm thinking of uh, Killip, uh, Kevin Philippard, the Foy's horse uh, there. That I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But obviously that's going to be popular after the win at uh, Epsom. And that's been well boosted. But there's going to be a bit of pace on in this race tomorrow. Mark Johnson's horse likes to go forward as well. I, I, I expect um, Oppressive will just be uh, ridden for a good uh, pace good toe into the race and yeah I just think um, she's got a lot of 
things going in her favour tomorrow. She's by Chibley Park as well, and she's got a lovely pedigree to improve. I think Oppressive has got a really good chance of outrunning her odds tomorrow. And I think she'll be bang there come the end of the race. We then go to Yarmouth for my nap, which is going to be running in the 4 o'clock at Yarmouth. And I'm going to go here with Papa Stella for Marco Ghiani and Stuart Williams, riding in the colours of Tom Morley. Now, this horse, Papa Stella, is... You have to say, he is an all-weather specialist, you know. Um, he's far better on the all-weather than he's been on the turf. He's actually rated 87 on the all-weather, whereas compared to the turf, he's rated 72. So there's £15 pounds in difference. But tomorrow, I think he's got a good chance to break his maiden on the turf. Now, it's going to be quite a weak race on paper tomorrow. I don't think there'll be too much for him to worry about. Also, as well, he's done expert as a sprinter. Last time we saw him, he tackled a mile at uh, Newcastle and won the racing league meetings there, and he posted a good second place effort. He's dropping back to six furlongs tomorrow, which I think could suit. I think Marco Chiani could probably go handy with him as well, and there's not going to be too much pace on, so I think that could really suit Papastara tomorrow. He has shown some ability as well. He finished second at this track earlier in the year where I think he ran over a mile that day so I do think he does have uh, does have claims in this company you know and yeah even though he does have to carry top weight tomorrow I, I expect him to go very close and that 5-2 I do think he should be favourite I think Chris Wall's horse who obviously does command respect has been a little bit she just shortened too much for me in the bed and I think Papa Star has a lot in his favour tomorrow and like I say if you go on his all, all weather form he is thrown in off a mark of 72 so if he runs anywhere near that I think he's got a good chance tomorrow and I think he'll take all the beating in that race at Yarmouth we then don't have to stay uh, uh, at Yarmouth too long before our next selection where we go to the 4.30 where we're going with my next best here um, I'm going to go here with Bombproof for Tom Marquand and James Fanshawe again available at the same price at 5-2 I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here now James Fanshawe's team are absolutely flying along at the moment they're operating a 44% strike rate and this horse has been a bit of a funny horse during his career. He used to be previously trained by Jeremy Noceda when he won uh, on debut at York. But then ever since then, he's really struggled. He was given uh, a mark of 98 when he started handicaps. And ever since then, he's just never been able to, to get anywhere near that form. However, he's now down to a mark of 80. And he showed that he does still have some ability when he finished second at Kempton on his return from a break a couple of weeks ago. Before that run, he'd actually had a wind up. So it's going to be a second run after a wind up tomorrow. And also as well, he was running over six furlongs that day and he's dropping back to five. And he's a horse that's just showing plenty of speed. And I think he does have quite a, a bit of untapped potential here. The, the ground should be fine tomorrow. The trip should be fine. Uh, the dropping grade should be f fine for him as well. This is a lot easier compared to what he's been running into over the last uh, year or so. And yeah, with James Fanshawe's team in good form, Tom Mark Wand riding well as well. Just think there's lots of like about chances of bomb-proof tomorrow, and I think he can get back to winning way. So that's why he is going to be my next best of the day. So they're the four tips for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments box below what you'll be back in tomorrow. Also, as well, if you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe here to my YouTube channel at Lucky Loaded 15. Also, as well, like I said, if you want to follow me on social media, Twitter is the place to do so, where my handle is at Lucky Loaded 15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website is www.crystalloaderacing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners for you tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.